Hi friends and family, uh, this is John here in Aliquippa at Mount Carmel Church. I recently thought I could put together some videos during the summer to uh, be able to inform you all of what the Lord is doing and how He is working here in the community of Aliquippa. Thank you so much for your prayers and your support and uh, all that you have done to help me be where I am this summer and support me through the calling that the Lord has given to me. Uh, through these past two weeks, I have already been very busy with uh, numerous things here at the church. I, this past week, I've been helping a man who attends the church here named Steve with a bike ministry that's affiliated with the church here in town. Is called Communicycle and its mission is to serve the community of Aliquippa by repairing bikes and giving bikes to um, as many children as they can in the community. So we've been making some trips out to houses um, who have children that need bikes that, that have bikes that need repaired and have been returning those bikes to them. So that's been a neat blessing to to be able to learn from Steve and uh, share the gospel in a tangible way with those people. In addition to serving the bike ministry with Scott this, this past week, I've also been able to see the inner workings of the church. I've been attending leadership meetings every Tuesday night with Pastor Eric and the leaders of the church, such as the elders and the deacons. And that's been a really neat experience to witness, to witness and be challenged by the calling that the Lord has given to those people in authority. I've been really challenged, especially with what's been happening in our community and in our nation these past few weeks, to have really intentional conversation about what it means to love our neighbor and what our calling is as the church as God's people to share His grace with everyone, um, just as we have been given grace. And so that's been a really encouraging time to be encouraged by, by people who, um, who are striving to love Christ and serve the church well. In addition to, um, to those leadership meetings, which um, actually happen right here in this room, I've also been able to help out with Sunday morning services. So last week I did the call to worship and this Sunday I had the privilege to lead the church in um, confession and pardoning. So that's been um, great to be back and be in front of people and learn how to, to speak publicly once again to people. I did a little bit of that at school with being a chapel aide, but haven't, haven't been able to with the coronavirus and everything that's been happening in our, in our communities lately. I will also be planning to preach on July 5th and August 3rd, which is super encouraging. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that, and Pastor Eric is gracious enough to um, be willing to teach me his, his methods for preaching. I look forward to learning more about being a pastor and preaching and all that, how all that is um, wrapped up into one. So thanks again for your support and your prayers. They have been um, well received and I have appreciated your generosity with everything, especially during this time in our lives. To leave you with, with a challenge I want to encourage you all to um, find neat ways to love your neighbor in this season of summertime. Find ways that you can be intentional and love people that may be different than you. And I, I'm sure that things like that are already happening in your life, but I've been encouraged to, to do the same and get a little uncomfortable with people that I'm not typically surrounded by and learn how to serve them well. and. Um, so I'd encourage you guys to do the same. So thank you again for your support and your prayers and your love. They are much appreciated. And I look forward to updating you more the time that comes this summer.